Good afternoon. I'm here at the garage and doing a little maintenance to the excavator. Uh, today, I really just was doing the required maintenance for the manual. I check the fuel filter, air filter, clean the air filter, um, check at the oil, and, and I'm waiting to change the oil until I get my vacuum operated uh, oil pump. I need a hose for it, so I'm waiting for that. But another issue is uh, I tried to fit my rake on here to my quick hitch. I ran into a little trouble. Uh, the rake is hitting this part of the quick hitch just a little bit, and it's preventing it from going up into place so I can lock it. And I tried to flip it around to put this end in first, and but it, the, wor the blockage is worse on this side. I wouldn't want to take that much material off, so I can't lift this with one hand, but it's hitting on this lip. So what I'm going to do is try to grind a little material off there, see how that works. I'm going to try first with a flap disc and then and then with the uh, a tougher grinding disc see how much I need to take off here yeah I can see I need to take little more than the, than the than the flap disc might be able to handle so I'm gonna I'm gonna switch up to a tougher grinding disc with this <coughs> looks like it was not enough here I need to get down here on the bottom the lower part Took a lot more material than I thought I'd have to take, but it's still got a good grip on on the attachments. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it in now, lock it down, see what we got. My, hopefully it doesn't fall out on me. enough material left I wouldn't want to take any more off there but it was only this attachment that it happened to the buckets uh, all work the only thing I haven't checked so far is the uh, the ripper and uh, the log grapple because I had another issue with the log grapple which I might as well show you now. So with the with the pins that were included, uh, they're all 147 millimeters long, and 
for the log grapple. It's definitely not long enough. It's at least 10 millimeters too short. So what I'm thinking about doing is sacrificing one of the pins and doing a cut and weld. I think I can uh, bevel the edges of both pieces and then fill weld those, uh, you know, those voids won't be a butt joint, but it'll be a little better than a butt joint. And I think that will be sufficient for a log grapple. It's, uh, it's not a large bucket or anything, so I think that would work. The other alternative is to visit a local machine shop here and have them just make me a long, uh, 157 millimeter long pin, which won't be much. Uh, and that's also going to solve solve two problems. The the pin that you see here from my ram, the top ram is too short as well. See how I've got it all the way butted against everything, and it's yeah. I mean, it's about five millimeters too short. I say three to five millimeters too short. I can't get a pin in. I get a little pin in. Uh, may, you know, maybe like a hairpin or you know, industrial hairpin type thing or wire, just to keep it safe from coming out. And that's kind of what I've been doing. But uh, I don't have a clamp strong enough to try to clamp these these two to see if I can get any movement there. But this pin can definitely be a little longer, and I could just shim it where I need to. Same with the log wrap. But this looks like it's good to go. It's a rake, and as you see down here, all along the sides of the street, the weeds are growing over, and I want to test that out. Plus, I can go in the back and uh, since, since the last episode, it's all grown in pretty good. And also, we did a lot of construction up top on the roof. I'll do a bit different video on the roof. We put a roof uh, covering on the, on the top deck. So we threw a lot of debris down in the back. And I think this rake will help me clean that up. So I'm going to put her back together, clean the air filter, check the fuel filter out. Well, not the fuel filter, the fuel strainer. And fuel filters at $500. And last thing I need to do is change that oil, but I'm waiting on, I don't want to get under there with a pan. I have a vacuum that I like to use because it's kind of cool, but I'll wait, I'll wait to do that. So I'll take a little bit more video here on this video, uh, trying to scrape some weeds up.